most accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Our ABC 27 weather team has been providing these fall foliage forecasts for really the last several years. You're probably thinking, what's a meteorologist uh, know about uh, trees and changing? Well, a lot of what we see, the changing and the timing and the longevity, has to do with the weather. So the weather conditions prior to and during the peak colors, certainly important if you want to catch uh, some of those good times and perhaps some good pictures too. I want to show you where at Little Buffalo State Park in Perry County, already a lot of leaf litter on the ground. Now these are all sugar maples, which are, are some of my favorites. Bright yellows when you really get into the peaking, but we've had a lot of leaf drop uh, with some of the maples. Now we still have plenty of leaves on the trees, but there has been some leaf stress due to the dry and hot summer, our seventh hottest summer on record, and we were dry for much of July and August. That is going to play a little bit of a factor, and the current conditions we're seeing now, the cooler October weather is also going to be playing a factor too. We'll give you when we think the best dates will be in the area here after the 70 forecast, but first let's take a look at the Almanac. We've had some cool weather this month, which is completely opposite of July, August, and the first half of September. Today, warm. Uh, the last two days, we've actually been into the lower 70s, so a nice mild day that we had for today. Northeast satellite radar, I want to show you. Clouds are moving in. We see that here in Perry County. Uh, that's going to lead to a front providing a decent amount of rain tomorrow. Um, beyond that, that's when we get a little bit chilly here, especially for next week. So we want to talk a little bit more about the rain first, and our precision cast is going to show you that the timing of this, we're going to see some showers as early as tomorrow morning, but there will be a period of some rain, even some embedded thunderstorms and some gusty winds in spots, not everywhere, but in spots, leading into midday hours, early afternoon. So any evening plans likely going to be featuring some damp conditions here. Rainfall amounts are going to be about a half inch to an inch of rain before we wrap things up in a drier Friday and weekend forecast on tap too. So let's show you that seven day forecast. Uh, weekends are always important this time of the year where I do think Saturday will be a bit on the milder side. Sunday, we start to see more of a transition where Monday's the front. Next Tuesday is when it gets chilly and I think that is gonna be our coldest uh, perhaps of October. There's gonna be a stretch after Tuesday. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you the upper air data where you can start to see this lobe of cool air that's gonna be pivoting through early next week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there's more than likely going to be one of those nights leading to more of a widespread frost or even a freeze. Again, that has impacts on some of our fall colors. So I want to show you what we do have here for October and November. The rest of this month, still cooler days dominate. There will likely be a little bit of a warm stretch early October. I should say the last week of October leading up to Halloween. November, I still think there's going to be a bit of a mix. Here's the good news. Uh, drier side should lead to some good conditions for hiking. So let's show you our forecast to so some of those dates. And for a lot of us, I would say the week leading up to Halloween is going to be the nicest. Those are going to be some vibrant colors. And I do think we're going to have some really good colors, Dennis and Alicia, this year. I just don't think it's going to last very long due to some of the stress that we had uh, during the summer. So get out and enjoy leading up to Halloween, perhaps those first few days of November. We'll send it back to you. All right, Thank thanks you, so much.